Good evening. I hope you're doing well today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Today we're going to be doing some Middle East, but uh, just basically what we're going to do today is we're going to play this particular scenario. Uh, this is Third Time's a Charm, and it is a 1967 scenario, basically breaking through the northern front of the Sinai Peninsula. And this is one of those areas that have been fought over a couple of times already. So, yeah. Before I get into that, though, I just want to take a moment to uh, to say thanks. Really appreciate you tuning in. Hope you've all had a good year this year. Uh, thank you to all of the new subscribers lately. It is so appreciated that you're pressing that button. Thank you so much. Uh, if you're liking the type of content or there's specific type of content that you want to see, let me know. I'm happy to oblige. I do have a couple of play-by-email, or actually I have four play-by-email games going. They, people are getting a lot of likes on those, a lot of views, so I guess you guys like it. If not, again, let me know. I won't waste my time if you don't like it. I think it's kind of fun and interesting, just you never know what humans are going to do, and it's always a, a risk, right? Always risky to see what's going on. So, uh, I am playing this with this particular scenario with the 2.31 beta. The artillery issue is still an issue because I have to script these artillery assets. Hey, John, good to see you. I hope you're doing well today. They haven't been done, so that will put a damper on how effective the Egyptian artillery is going to be as I'm playing the Israelis. Um, there, I have a lot of assets in this, so it may take a bit, but I don't think I'm going to be running into a lot of resistance in the beginning. I also want to see... On, on the bright side, there's quite a few units that are fixed, so they're not going to be running around like they did with the last scenario. But there are some that are not quite fixed in this scenario, so we'll see what the AI does, legacy AI. Um, mainly, I want to play this to make sure that what I have planned is uh, for, for the AI is going to actually work out the way that I want it to. So let's let's get into this. So... Abu Agelia and Umm Qatif were the center of attention for a third time in as many decades. Unlike the previous two engagements in 1948 and 1956, the Israelis had two weeks to prepare for their assault on the heavily defended and fortified area. The plan involved a division-sized unit including an armored brigade, an infantry brigade, six battalions of artillery, a parachute battalion, uh, an independent tank battalion, and additional assets. The Israeli 14th Armored Brigade was tasked with capturing the road to Umm Qatif, clearing the road and allowing the 99th Infantry Brigade and artillery assets to move into position for the night assault on Umm Qatif. Hey, thanks for tuning in there, Tim. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, well, where was I? Uh, uh, which was defended by the Egyptian 12th Infantry Brigade, supported by artillery and armor, in support of the main assault uh, an armored task force was to push its way through the desert along the Batur track to set a roadblock at Abu Agalia slash uh, El Arish, or that highway, to prevent Egyptian reinforcement. In addition, a parachute battalion would be landed via helicopter behind the Umm Qataf to neutralize the Egyptian artillery. To the south, an infantry force was to tie down the Egyptian 10th Infantry Brigade at Kusemiya. I don't know how you say that. Thank you so much, Tim. I really appreciate that. That's awesome. It is a good plan, but rarely, but plans rarely survive the first contact. And note, many of the Egyptian formations start the scenario fixed, so I am counting actually on that issue for this particular run through because I want to have the unit stationed where they historically were for the coming assaults. Uh, so this does. It, this is broken up into basically two parts for the scenario. We have the advance towards the main defenses, and then it turns into night, and we will be having a night engagement. Now, on the bright side, so again, I'm going to play with the usual rules. No variable visibility, computer with fog or war, blah, blah, blah. Hey, infantryman, good to see you. Thanks for tuning in. How are you doing today? How's everyone doing today? All right. 
I'm okay. I'm also okay, thanks. I I'm being tired. I'm on holidays and all of a sudden everything is caught up to me and I'm quite quite exhausted. But other than that, I'm doing okay. So let's let's burn through this as so let's take a look. Here's let's do a quick overview. There's objectives here. There's objectives here. There's the regular Egyptian objectives here. I don't Kataf. And there is El uh, Kasama. I don't know how you say that, but anyways, that's another objective that we we have here. So our goals are basically to take this infantry brigade, advance down this road to try and capture this town. Then we're going to take this armored element and advance, uh, maybe not advance down that road. I don't know. I haven't decided. Um, haven't decided. We'll have to figure that out. We're tasked with actually clearing the road. So if I'm going to have the Israelis ha do that as a task, I think it might be wise for me to actually try and do that and not just bypass the whole thing. Um, because I think since that has to be cleared for the parachutists that are going to be coming up behind us, it'll be a good idea to do that. Which means you sent you the turn. Ah, oh, great. Thanks for that. I will get to that after the stream. So I'll probably send it back to you tonight. Did you run into any of my troops yet there, infantryman? No. Okay, that's good. That's a good thing. Okay, so before I get too involved in this advance, I want to... Actually, you know what? We can continue down... Actually, no, let's... We need some engineers. Let's find some engineers, because it said clear the road. So what does that mean? That means there's going to be crap on the road. And that means we want to make sure that we're cleaning it up. So where are our engineers? Not there. Not there. Not there. Not there. Not there. Hey, where the heck are our engineers? course they're gonna be at the very end of the column holy crap where are they oh that's that's good those are mine vehicles do I not have any freaking engineers what is this madness okay so I guess we're gonna be doing this slowly so, slow time is going to be my new friend. Ah, and that's why. Because just like that, we ran into some problems. Okay, we did spot them. We should be able to now just drive through them. Oh, no. Or not. So, this will be one of those things that I modify for the uh, the final version of this scenario. Let's slow time through there. Let's slow time through there. Good day, Nakinway. Good to see you. Thanks for joining. I hope you're doing well today. So that's a uh, reconnaissance type force. Light tanks. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this entire column down the road and I'm going to grab those mine tanks. Where are they? Where are they? We saw them. We saw them. 
there they are nope those are oh that's good to know we have wreckers there they are it's only one freaking engineer really what wow one engineer do we get reinforcements no ha <laughs> Do we have any other units? Nothing. Oh, maybe they're down here. Oh, that's an infantry brigade. And they're all on foot. Hmm. Fascinating. Or terrifying. A lot of heavy weapons here, which is kind of fun. And I'm kind of excited that we get to do this in the desert. This will be kind of in. This will be exciting. Okay, let's grab our fancy vehicles. Move them as far as they can go. Because we need these guys up at the front. Same with the engineers. Trying to advance the the head these engineers as far and as fast as we can. Let's get some AVRs up there as well. Let's just get everyone up here. Uh, okay, that's that. Let's start advancing down the road. So we're still in Israel here, so we should be okay. Oh, sh sugar. I guess not. Okay, that's uh, terrifying, but good to know. Get some eyes up here. Bring our infantry up. We have a recordless rifle. How far can we see? Oh, we can see all the way there. Let's see if we can take it out. No joy. That's okay. So we do have some heavy mortars, that's good. We have some more AMX tanks, which are not all the most useful things, but that's okay. Let's load up these mortars, bring them a little bit closer. And let's do the same with these. And we're gonna load up our battalion headquarters as well. This is a shout out to uh, someone a long time ago. They corrected my pronunciation for battalion. It's one of those things that, you know, you've been reading for a million years and never knew how to pronounce it. Well, that's kind of what happened. I was pronouncing it in a different way. <laughs> that's funny. But we did it. Learned how to say it properly. Yay! So I'm taking my headquarters. I'm going to move this brigade headquarters eventually down here looks like there's going to be some defenses in this position here i guess we're going to have to deal with that i don't expect there to be a lot let's do it let's take a cruise down the road so this might be a, a defended area that would make sense uh maybe in here this is terrain that would allow that and this is definitely going to be defended the question is what kind of is it going to be defended in depth or what they did mention there was a brigade down here so we could be running into multiple battalions down there I don't know over here 
way up. This will probably be defended. There's objectives there, so that's something to be concerned about. There isn't objectives here, but this looks like it'd be a good place for an ambush. I like how engineers can... Sh they have to be right next to them, otherwise they can't. Um, but yeah. If you can find tanks in a village or city, that's where you want to be assaulting them. Especially if they're alone. If they're alone, then it's a good thing. Alright, let's save this. We are going to call this... Uh, uh, um, Oops, let's see if I can spell it right. Hallelujah. Save. Alright, so... I'm not expecting a lot to happen until we get where we need to go, because I don't think I have any objectives over here. Yeah, so there's no object objectives here. Crisis in the Crimea killed a lot of Soviet tanks with my Joe Ah, yeah, for sure. That is so true. Actually, let's take a look at the specs. Where, where are those engineers? Here. So did you know with Middle East and Vietnam, you can now look at the passengers, see what they are. So here's the handbook of the engineers. So yeah, they're attacking at a 20 at one hex away, but as soon as they move away, they, they don't have the, the attack value. They still have light arms, of course, for dealing with infantry. But yeah, they're tank killers here at one hex away. Plus they usually have a half decent assault too, right? So that's always a bonus. Yeah, they have an assault of eight, which is okay. The same as the infantry, basically. All right, save it, end it, and see what happens. I'm actually curious to see what the legacy AI does with these troops, because I don't think they're fixed. Oh, now there's something moving. Where's it going? They are. So, when you're playing against the the AI, the legacy AI and scripted AI even, well, not necessarily scripted, because the scripted you can have it target whatever you want, but the legacy AI will generally target headquarters and engineers as primary targets. Yeah, exactly, Tim. And it's the same for this game, too. This, this game is the same. You need to be within 250 meters in order to be effective with your engineers. But they are very good. So I'm going to assume it's thinking about something, but I'm not sure what. Are they moving? What are they doing? Hmm. There we go. I was wondering, did it crash on me? Oh, we do have reinforcements. Wait. Oh, I clicked the wrong button. That's why. Holy sugar. Oh, we even get helicopters. Oh, yeah. Look at all that. Ah, the police. The yeah. So, this is 1967. The Israelis didn't have a lot of, uh, they were a very tank-heavy force, and they didn't have a lot of mechanized units, so they had to have buses, basically, to help move their troops around, and these are police armored buses, just, uh, that's kind of cool. So the infantry unit that's going to be following up this, in this tank brigade, which is going to be the one that we're going to assault here, this is what that target is. And actually, we're going to push through. 
because there's quite a few targets. There's there's objectives back here, but if you look, there's landing zones everywhere. So I'm going to have to decide once I get my helicopters where I'm going to be landing. Now, fair warning, this night this battle is mostly going to be fought at night. So we have daytime to maneuver and night is going to be our friend. That's why we have so many flares. We have 10, 20 flares, right? So yeah. Okay. So again, we're going to slow time down the road. Man, look at that. I can use every type. Yeah, that's true. Hang on, I'm just going to expand that check just so I miss. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so just like that, we ran into another freaking roadblock. That's annoying as heck. Can I avoid it? Nope. <laughs> just like that. None for you. And let's let's slow time if I can. No, I can't. So there's no minefield there at least. So we'll we'll choose that one. Or maybe there's a minefield there. I don't know, I didn't check. Oh what? Oh crap, we ran into a minefield. There was a minefield there. Oh, thanks for the heads up, John. I appreciate that. So, obviously... So we ran over that minefield with two tanks, and we didn't see it, so... Even though one of them was slow time, one of them was going slow time. No, they both were going slow time. It didn't reveal it, so that's something to keep in mind. Just safety first, right? Uh, these guys have to go through this, so I'm going to slow time through the minefield. And even though it's the desert, we're, we're not going to be able to see everything. So I'm not going to use slow time until I get to the until I get to the minefield. And the reason why I'm using slow time because the vehicles are basically slowing down and being a little more cautious as they're driving through the minefield, less likely to trigger something, which is what we don't want to happen. Oh crap! Let's just cut across that. So I do have to be careful on how these units are crossing. Oh, we have engineers in our half tracks. Let's get them going. And we want to find where those other those other tanks are. Here they are. Because these are going to be mine clearing tanks. You're getting. You're getting buffering my. Oh, yeah, for sure. I do have a better machine now and internet, so it should be okay. That'll be uh, updated as well, probably in a couple more months, so that's a good thing. That will hopefully increase the upload speeds. What's your internet like there, Tim? Hey, Natkinway, is it buffering for you or is it okay? Yeah, I just I just want to make sure, Tim. I 
I think it is too, but just for safety. Make sure that everything is working. Oh, look at that. We even have self-propelled howitzers. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, so let's go up here. Let's move this column. I don't think we're going to find any any mines or anything until we get maybe on this track. Let's see. Great. Thanks, Nacking Way. I appreciate that. Oh, these half tracks, they just rock in the... Even in the desert, they are going to town. But I have to be careful because I don't want to be going way too ahead of my tanks. So, just for clarity, we're taking this group here, which has a bunch of uh, shot meteor tanks or, or centurions, and we're driving along this path until we can get to this track. And we're going to engage and clear whatever's here. Ultimately, we want to drive all the way to this location here to cut off this highway for any reinforcements that are coming. So we want to secure these objectives with this group here. So this task force, we're cruising around here all the way through, all the way to, I, we probably won't even get there until nighttime, at least, because we have this to deal with first. And that's the main objective there. If we can come down this way, that's great, but the main objective is to go and clear all this. That's the road to El Arish, I think. Uh, it's a coastal town in Central Cali. We're kind of remote. Big storm. Oh. Okay, so that's that's pretty much done. Let's go down here. Oh, there's armored cars there. So what we're going to do, I think they're just going to sit there until we get up there. So that's kind of nice. Let's bring up some tanks for extra support. I'm going to turn off the labels. We don't need labels. So one handy thing is that, oh wait, I shouldn't have done that. Oh no, I did. One handy thing is that since I haven't scripted it yet, these are going to be our ammo levels, period. So I can start firing with these mortars back here. And maybe that'll cause them to retreat down to wherever they're going, to wherever the points are. So I'm actually kind of curious to see what's going to happen with that. Okay, I think that's it. Let's save it. And the chart. Oh, we have more reinforcements. What do we have? Oh, holy. Look at all those freaking Armored engineer, or not an engineer, sorry. Armored infantry. That's fantastic. So here's a question. Depending on how this advance goes, do you think I should actually hold off with my, in the scripting sense of the word, should I give points to the, should I give points to um, the Israelis if they don't attack until nightfall. Like for example, we have a really heavy mechanized force here. I could just say, screw it, I'm not gonna wait for the infantry brigade, or should I? So historically, what they did is they advanced, they cleared the road, they let the infantry brigade come up, and then the infantry brigade is the one that 
the advanced. And the main reason for, was, for that was that they didn't want to have all the armored vehicles battered against this position because oh, it's going to be probably pretty strong. So they had this brigade waiting at night, the armored brigade waiting after it's cleared the road for the infantry to do their thing and then they could break through. Now, I could, since I know I don't have to do anything in the grand scheme of things after this scenario, I could just assault this with my infantry or my mech, uh, armored brigade. Should I penalize the player in my scripting when I do this f for doing that? So, should they stick to the historical script by saving the mechanized or the armored brigade and letting the infantry do with it? Or what? What do you guys think? Let me know what you think. And I can easily do that by, for example, any mechanized unit that enters this, a box, a box around here, or even a, a, a circle around here, or a rectangle, or whatever. If any of those armor brigade units enter that, that's minus five per turn, or something, right? Just to keep the historical accuracy of the particular scenario, you know, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think that's cheesy? Do you think that's... And if that's the case, then I could take a... Make a much larger version of this scenario, you know, where it covers, like, the first three days of the the advance towards even Mitla Pass or something. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think that's too much? I think it's kind of interesting, but I... I'm not your average player, so I think differently. Yeah, the vacation was good down there, Tim. Except uh, my poor sob. I got hit. Or actually, I didn't get hit. I was cruising down the freeway, leaving... Uh, where were Where were we? Sonoma, outside of Sonoma, heading towards Klamath Falls. Oh, nice. Oh, we got disrupted. Anyways, there was some... There's a freeway there. I think it's I-80 or I-85 or something like that. And uh, cruising in the second fast lane, on the first fast... In the main fast lane, there was uh, some... It was a Sunday, so there's pylons on the side of the road. Apparently some of the cars in the first pass lane or in the fast lane had not seen them and clipped them and threw them into the front of my car that kind of sucked so but on the bright side i can always get uh yeah but i'm not killer good point though the problem with being aggressive in that particular model is that that brigade has to go to the canal. So if you waste the entire brigade on this position, which you probably would, especially in daytime, you're 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 not being rewarded for that. You've just screwed up your entire plan for crossing the entire Sinai with your mechanized forces. All right, we have more reinforcements. That's good. Zero units out of one have uh, not recovered. That's not good. Eleven headquarters unable to provide supply. One unit low on ammo. Here comes our artillery. Oh, there's some BRDMs there. Let's zoom in. Oh, we're doing some damage. That recoilless rifle is still there. Yes, the sob. It is getting fixed in April, though, fortunately. It was just cosmetic stuff that happened, but it was still a pain. Ooh, there's even infantry up there, or there was. Let's 
get a little bit closer. Take out those trucks. Nice. Let's see, disrupted. Let's hit the flank. Take out the armored car. Oh, wow, that was a good hit. These are armed with 75 millimeter guns, I think. Oh yeah, look at that. They're quite effective. Dope. Oh, beautiful. That's not beautiful. All right, let's see if we can take out that machine gun. It's just a light gun. John says, uh, let's do some modifications here. One second. How do I do that? John says, don't penalize. Remember, it's a game. Players don't have to follow history then, and often don't. It's important that players keep an interest in gameplay. Otherwise, if penalized, they may, vo they may move on to something else, in my opinion. Interesting thoughts. see those trucks are for all these mortars okay good to know so we're bringing up some mortars right up to the front we're gonna start hitting this try and push through be aggressive be be aggressive Twenty-five pounders. Oh, we have lots of artillery back here. They don't have to be. This is wide open terrain. This is easy terrain to travel on. So you could just bypass the whole thing if you want. <coughs> the road does make things easier, especially for logistics and keeping in mind what the whole plan is. That's another reason why I like playing the bigger scenarios, because it forces you to understand the repercussions of being... Oh, what? Again? Being um, aggressive when it isn't necessary. So I'm using slow time through here because I don't know if there's more minefields. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Let's just move into there. our engineers. Aha! Here's our engineers. First things first. Oh, I can't even unload. One point away from being humble to unload. That's annoying. But it happens. Get our engineering tanks up there too.
Here the player is heavily tied to the road. Goals far off. Yes, that is very true. Bring up our ARVs because those are handy. Doing pretty well actually driving so far. Hasn't been too scary. Ah, this is way overstacked. everyone so notice that I'm trying to kind of guide the, the system along just a little bit makes things easier for everyone oh, look how far they can move all oh, the half tracks are awesome my jutes asphalt so that makes sense all right so that brigade is done let's move these ones Again, I'm not really expecting a lot of bad guys up here, but just for safety. Oh, slow. Alright, that's done. Down here. Let's get our artillery assets moving. Hit some of these positions, soften the blow, zoom out just a little bit. I don't know what, what they're going to do, so we'll find out here shortly. I do have a brigade headquarters, let's bring that down closer. If I should, I think, you know, I'm gonna leave these here. I don't think I need to, but I think I'm going to. Let's bring up these trucks. So there's one, two, three positions there at least. I'm curious to see if there's gonna be more. But we have light tanks. We took out the recordless rifle, which I think was probably the biggest threat. So I think we're okay. Let's save it and see what happens. Oh, more hot trucks. Some trucks. What's inside here? Oh, engineers. Perfect. That's what we needed right there. Okay. We're making progress. Save it. Let's zoom in just in case something interesting happens. Oh, oh, we lost a tank. What's there? Oh, freaking anti-tank gun. Looks like a 57 millimeter, which is enough. Now yeah, there's just moving going on, I think. So again, this is another one of those scenarios that would be interesting to play against the human that has the patience to play as the Egyptians because most of their units are fixed. At least in the beginning, then they get released, but not all of them are fixed. So there's still opportunity for maneuver and things like that, which is kind of fun.
two units have recovered morale, which is good. 13 headquarters, unable to provide supply, which makes sense considering everything is moving around. And two units low on ammo. That was a good hit. Disrupted and reduced by one. We reduced that machine gun. I don't, and again we reduced it. I don't remember how many machine guns the Egyptians had at this part of the war. I think it was four. That was a good hit. Those mortars are pretty devastating. 120 millimeter ones. Two. There's two blasted. Oh, now there's one. Okay, so let's grab our infantry. I'm going to double time them towards this ridge. Oh, look at that. Desert movement. Awesome. Empty trucks. Let's move this up here. I do have a shot. Uh, this one scenario I am waiting for scripting on is Thorn of Budapest. It's a short night scenario between Israeli and Egyptians, where Israelis have to hold on while being stormed by Egyptian commandos. We had that one of the Blitz Pursuit of Glory tournament a few years back, and it was the blast to play. One of my all-time favorites. Yeah, yeah, that should be interesting, eh? Thanks, John. Didn't take it out. Let's get risky. Try and we see if we can get lucky. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay, so now we're safe here. Let's double time. Actually, let's, let's double time all... Oops, I forgot to double time. I'm going to grab these. Let's move these trucks to this side because the mortars are coming on this side. Let's double time them towards the trucks. There's no sense having these guys walk when there's vehicles available because they're significantly slower than the infantry. As you could see. Let's double time them. And double time them. So one thing to keep in mind, now notice that I had double timed all of these units. All these units were double timed, but these two here didn't get fatigued. So that's one thing they have to, with the 2.30 update and the 1.30 game. Just because you hit, you have to make sure that if it shows that it's double time, not every unit is going to get fatigued. That is dependent on the AI file. The AI file determines how, what the percentage chance of you getting fatigued is. So I think it's based on 67. So the training is good, but it's not great. So you will get. You'll have the opportunity that these things, even though they double timed, they're not fatigued. Whereas these ones here, they double timed, but they did get fatigued. So more than likely they'll recover next turn. But these ones we can double time twice in a row because we didn't have that fatigue. So that's always a good thing. Something to keep in mind. Let's take out that machine gun if we can. So the orange is the machine gun. Didn't get lucky. Let's try with our recordless rifle. It is low on ammo. That's not going to help. Oh, that was the infantry. No, it got disrupted. So that's something. Let's move up with our infantry. We're going to try and stay out of sight of that uh, machine gun. Can I get in? No, I can't even get into there. have some mortars let's unload those I'm gonna fire directly at these things oh that was a good hit that's a really handy feature so the better quality your troops are the less likely that they will go into a fatigue state so here let's try with these ones so I click double time on both of them. 
one of them got fatigued. Now, if I was to do that with Arab forces, more than likely both of them would get fatigued. Not always, but most of the time they would always get fatigued. Here, same. Yeah, the both. this time both of them got fatigued. Let's do a couple more. Yeah, both of them got fatigued. I think that's our brigade headquarters. So I'm going to leave that sit there on the road for a while. Bring our trucks up. I do have an infantry company back here, but I think I'm going to leave it back here just to, to protect my artillery assets for now. Okay, down the road. On the road again. Again, we're using slow time. Oh, and we triggered a mine, but we didn't take any losses because we're probably using slow time. Something to keep in mind, that's important. I'm going to slow time through this minefield. Oh, that was... Not very smart. Moving though, yeah, we're moving. So if you... Now, even though I've spotted it, theoretically what happened is I've spotted this now, and you can see where that minefield is. You can pretend that it's been marked. It's like, all right, there's a lane through here. You can probably get through, no problem. But there's always a chance that your vehicles will stray off that line and get and run into the minefield. Or maybe the initial line missed it, because that's not what they're tasked to do, is, you know, identifying where minefields are. So, it's, you take your own risk by going into a minefield without being in slow time. And what I've noticed the worst is that when there is a, when there is a, a loaded vehicle that goes into a minefield that's being spotted, like through here, for example... If it's not going slow time, it, it will trigger. Not always, but it will seem to trigger. Fair warning. Fair warning. Okay, where's our engineers? Here's our engineers. And we're going to start clearing this. Just like that. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to slow time the vehicles. get our tanks up here so these are our mine clearing tanks the engineering tanks right here we're gonna push them past through these engineers and start cleaning this road which will make the rest of the column so much happier I want to make sure that I have 12 or less strength points along the road so I can actually I can bunch up these these tanks So that's 12. I don't want to go more than 12. That's 6. That's 6. So 12. So let's take a look here. What do we have? 5. Throw 2 in there. That's overstacked, but we're just we're moving these Shermans further north. So 12. Uh, 7. Oh, that's one one too many. That's close enough. Okay, let's move these together. Move that together. Move this together. The Israelis have a lot of small small units.
that's what happens when you have terrible AI pathfinding you have to babysit half tracks going. Oh, I just love how fast these things can go. Let's take a look at our reinforcements. Oh, none this time. Get our engineers up. That's what we need. We even have some in half tracks. That's exciting. All right, then this. Slowly but surely. So we're getting close to this position here, which means I might. Well, we have to clear the road too. But what I can start doing is maybe start flanking this position just to see what's up there. So I'm going to head down this way. Again, we're going to use slow time because odds are good that's mined. So safety first. Over here. Oh, we did everything already. Just like that. Perfect. What's this? Mortars and uh, headquarters. That's that. That's that. All right. Let's save it. End it. I am expecting them, so I think the Egyptian infantry is really effective at one hex away. Although it's not bad at two hexes, because by the looks of it, it looks like there are light machine guns and rifles, and maybe an RPG too. Or is that a bazooka? I can't tell. Oh, yeah, there. Maybe those are bazookas. So they're doing some moving. Let's see what happens. Excited that we get helicopters later. So one thing to note is that I don't have any places to land the helicopters after they've done their thing. So the intention is that you bring your troops in, you land, you send them back off the map. We have more reinforcements. 13 headquarters, unable to provide supply. Two units low on ammo, and we did clear a first minefield. Yay! Okay, let's let's keep doing that because that's important. Oh, we need to leave them there. No, we don't. We can load up, drive down the road, get ready to the next place, and then use this. That's five. That's four. So I need to move these tanks through this mine, this barricade, just like so. I'm going to move this onto there, and that'll start cleaning that out. So these units we can move through. Actually, this tank, let's just keep going. 
let's continue. So we have the engineer, we have a mine clearing tank, we have these tanks. I think these will clear the blocks, I'm pretty sure. M50 Shermans, that's, that's good. Just going to move these up just a bit. in there just trying to organize my troops a little bit makes things a little bit easier let's move these ARVs up the column just to try and get them up front in case we run into some bad guys and lose some vehicles that we have this self-propelled artillery. Now these engineering assets, I think we also need to work their way through the front. So once they get on this road, I'm gonna have to clean up some of this road to let these trucks to pass through up to the front. I'm going to assume this road is just brutal the whole way. All right, so I'm going to advance up this road to this point, uh, maybe to this point here, while some of these assets start going through out here. So let's advance, advance, advance. Okay, now, this asset is going to go down the road to here and then off the road. Again, we're using slow time because I don't know what's out here. Oh, we got lucky. So, slow time. Again, asset, asset, follow. Ooh, we missed. Slow. these units let's just advance again using slow time really being cautious because we're going to start flanking this position and get our machine guns out there this is our recon asset i think yeah it has a recon ai so that'll be useful once we get them into a position. I don't think these light tanks have recon assets. Let's see. Well, they do. This is a whole reconnaissance thing. Can I see anything? No. It's, I don't have enough. Action points, that is. Again, going into slow time. Going through these minefields. There we go. So this is a reconnaissance unit. Which is a fairly large unit, actually. Checking things out. Now, now that I know, we can actually use these AMX light tanks as reconnaissance units. That'll make life a little more interesting. Oh, crap, we have a battalion headquarters up here. That's not good. We have some infantry. Some infantry. And that's it. Huh, okay. Let's go up here. column is all backed up now that's not good all right let's get on this hill 
Oh, there's stuff back here. Crap. And we took losses and a morale hit. Okay, let's unload our mortars. Let's use this mortars here. I'm going to utilize our reconnaissance asset. See what's back here. Oh, nothing. No, I can't do it. Oh. Doesn't that have it? Oh, yeah, maybe it does. Just didn't work. Hmm. Okay, let's go up into this tr improved position. Try and take out this machine gun. Yeah, so the light machine guns, they're four for future reference in 1967 for the Egyptians. That's good. That is overstacked, I know. But that's kind of what I was trying to do, is draw the fire there. Let's fire at this thing. Let's advance now. Oh, crap, really? The morale of these units isn't very good. So... They're going to take... So these ones are definitely armed with the bazookas. Oh, that was good. So let's secure that. That gives us some protection at least. Let's move this onto the road. Let's move our tanks up. Uh, let's advance with our tanks. Let's take out these machine guns. Perfect. That's what we want to do. Alright, four strength points, five, four. So be, since they're out in the open, we can identify the size of their units, which is kind of nice. And I presume that these are the trucks for that unit. So had I been playing uh, a human, they may have started to defend here, but then had their trucks ready to pick up and go straight away. Let's go up there. Oh, we took a loss. Crap. That's okay. Let's move our tanks up still. Move our, get our trucks loaded with these mortars because they're slower than molasses. Get our recordless rifles up here to help out. So I'm going to hit this position, and then with the bigger ones, let's start hitting these areas here. I, I, since the AI, legacy AI is inscripted, I don't know if they're going to do anything. So let's just, let's just hit areas everywhere, just to see what happens. Use our 25 pounders. And let's hit this ridge, just in case there's something else there. Alright, let's go north. That we've done. That we've done. This we've done. Okay, we're done. Oh, reinforcements. Oh, some 120mm mortars. That's beautiful. Okay. Okay. No effect. Now they're moving.
curious to see how the battle on Sunday is going to go. Oh man, that was so bad. It was so bad. Started playing one of the Tet scenarios. Testing it. Whew, just killed me. Just killed me. So now, on Sunday, we have the opportunity to counterattack. So that should be interesting. We have uh, zero units out of one that have recovered. 11 headquarters, unable to provide supply. One unit low on ammo. And we do have another mine that is cleared. All right, let's take out this blasted BRDM. Oh, or move it, that's okay. We didn't get shot at, except for that uh, reconnaissance car, so maybe there's nothing up, up here. Oh, well, that's good. See, that's why we... Uh, in their retreat area, that's where we plot artillery. Just in case. Well, that, that's a double unknown effect. That's a good hit. Retreated. Ah, no joy with the 25 pounder. Hmm. Maybe the 25 pounders are too far behind. Get on this ridge, move up here. Let's send one platoon. Oh, disrupted freaking fire truck. Let's go down here and we can use these rocks at least to come this way. Ha, ah, that sucks. Okay. What are we going to do? Let's advance. Let's double time these units. We'll get some shots in. That's what. We, this is what we want. We want to draw that fire. Because what we're going to do is overrun these guys. Because I'm mean. And I'm going to use a proper surround assault. So, surround assault is by using these three hexes. Basically, you're assaulting from hexes with a empty hex in the middle. That takes care of that problem. And we shall continue advancing and doing the same with this other infantry as we progress. gonna chase them down we may take some losses but we're going to eliminate the entire platoon eventually uh, I'll leave the infantry to deal with with that they're not strong yeah so these are not small enough yet There we go. Let's use this recordless rifle. Take some pot shots. Keep them on their toes. Just like that. Get this infantry up on top of the ridge if we can. Oh no. That's too bad. Oh, there we go. Just had to make room on the road. These guys can come up as well. It's a slow haul, but we're making progress. Let's 
let's double time this stuff. We'll leave those mortars there. We'll leave the brigade headquarters there. We're going to bring up these uh, trucks for all these mortars. There we go. That's that's going well. I'm happy with that attack. That's that's nice. That's a good thing. Let's get these beautiful mortars up the road. So we didn't spot anything yet. Nothing shot at. Oh, we did spot something. Ah, what are those BTR 152s? Interesting. Oh, I'm not going to get too. Uh, not going to advance too far. Not yet. It's uh, slow time. Ooh. Now I'm I'm wondering if there's BTR one fifty twos up here. There might be anti tank guns. So I don't know if I want... What's the visibility? Visibility is... Is 9. So that's within visibility range. So I'm going to maybe advance a little more south. Let's try that. I don't think we saw anything. So let's just book it. Okay, let's slow time here. We're going to spread out. Okay, so my goal, just so you know what I'm thinking, is to take these units, swing around here towards this break into here. Maybe, no, I think that's too close. So I think this break here is where we're going to go. There, This is easy ground to, to work through, so we can just quickly move through there. I'm hoping that isn't defended. And then we're going to work our way to that road, and that'll isolate this. And then we can start pushing our reconnaissance unit down the road still. I might, I might send an infantry unit or a combined task force down here just to see if there's something down this valley. I don't think there is, but I think it's like minefields and crap like that, so I don't want to go down there. So I'm going to unload my infantry, bring them up here, see if we can draw some fire. So yeah, what do you think? You think that's a good plan? We'll swing down this way, head towards this road, cut it off. By that time, hopefully we can start pushing through. Okay, let's unload that, get them into here. Let's move these into here, just like so. Slow time through the minefield. So that'll at least clear this open. This will this part here will be open, which is nice. Now that hex is overstacked. Look at that. going to disperse my vehicles so I can quickly move my engineering forces that are coming up behind. are all armored infantry so we'll make a task force 
we will make a task force that will allow us to... Yeah, we're going to just send all these vehicles off-road up to this, up to the highway here. Now that I have space for it, we can advance and clean up all these mines pretty quickly. I might even start sending... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to send my entire... We took a look. That's good. We're going to take the, all these, this whole reconnaissance battalion around. I'm not going to leave any troops there because we have tanks and everything coming up. And then we'll probably split up into a couple of task forces to, one, go down the road, and two, to come into this beautiful open valley, which I want to make sure that we're not running into any minefields, though. That's the main thing. And that's another reason why I want to bring all these engineers up as quickly as I can, just to make sure that we're not running into any... Flank the ridge plus flank the road, yeah. Right, exactly. Now, if I was playing a human player, would I get away with that? Yeah, maybe not. At this time of the war, I think the Egyptians have... Uh, you know, SC-100s, plus they have T-34s, and a T-34, even though it's an old tank, it can still rip through anything here. Any of these vehicles it can rip through. Even the AMA, the these are really light tanks. Super light tanks. Okay. That's done. I guess the only thing we have to do here is plot the artillery. Again, we're going to do the same as before. Plotting on the unit and in front of the unit in case it decides to run away. And then I'll do the same. Oh, no, I ran out of mortars. Ha! Huh. But I am going to use these guns for this. All these empty trucks. That's just points waiting to be had. I'm happy about that. I don't have any air power, that's okay. Oh, we have an infantry platoon way over here. Let's continue hitting the flank. So we'll have to do the same thing for this this hilltop here. They had 100, yeah, that's right, John. They had 100 millimeter anti-tank guns too, yeah. So that's not good, but that being said, if I if there was a T-34 here, or an SC-100, all it, it could just, as a human player, I'd be sniping whatever's coming out. And, and quite frankly, I would probably cover this valley because this is a huge threat. Okay, I think that's all we can do, so let's end it, see what happens. Those BRDMs, that's not very nice. Oh, there we go. Took it out. Thank you, AMX. I'm also kind of interested in the the French and their African adventures. Those could make for some interesting scenarios. I did not expect that at all. Yeah, right, right, Tim? Totally. It's like, what? On the bright side, that just allows me to overrun them faster. Yeah, 
is doing its thing. So what kind of a weekend scenario would you like to play for Middle East? What would be interesting? Oh, we finally have all our units recovered morale. That's great. Nine headquarters unable to provide supply. One artillery unit unavailable. One unit low on ammo. And we do have cleared some mines and blocked hexes, which is great. Well, that sucked. That missed totally. Ah, they didn't retreat where I wanted them to. That's okay. All right, let's take out some trucks. Or, or not. What? Finally, we got one. Two. Now, if that was east front, all those trucks would be wiped out. All right, let's take out this armored car. Just like magic. And then let's take out these trucks. Just like magic. And let's take out these trucks. Perfect. Now let's get on the road. Let's get this guy. Oh, so he recovered morale, but he hasn't fully recovered. He was four before, so this is better terrain to be in. I can I'll leave him in that terrain just to help him recover faster. But let's deal with this. Let's throw this platoon in there. These two tanks in there. Bye bye. All right. And then let's double time this guy. I'm going to do a flanking assault. And we should be able to take this out. Yes. There you go. Combined arms always wins. Always a good thing. Use it as much as you can. Especially when the units are out in the middle of nowhere. Alright, this guy can come back this way. Bring our tanks up. This will give us... Ooh, you know what? I sh probably shouldn't have done that. I wanted to go to the ridge. I didn't want to go... Can I go back? No. I am not sure what's there. So that's kind of scary. Let's double time all this infantry. Bring our headquarters around. We'll send a small little comp group up north. Not up north, but uh, down the road. Let's lift, get these mortars. 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 Ah, there's one more mortar there. Let's go grab it. There we go. We can load these up now. Let's take a look at the town, our objective. So, consists of 300, 400 points. I don't think there's anything else out here. No, there's nothing else out here. So that's our main objective. But once that's secured, we can send whatever's coming up this way up the flank, which is a good idea. Um, 
We're still quite a ways away from there, though. So even if we double time, I'm hoping there's not going to be a lot of ambush sites. This looks like it'd be a good ambush site, so I'm kind of annoyed that I did that, but it happens. That's okay. I wish I had some trucks for this, this group, because that would make life a lot easier. All right, up here. Let's start going towards this location. Slow time. Let's go slow time. Slow time. <gasps> Frickin' What did I lose? Oh, nothing. I got lucky. So we hit a minefield. Again. Oh, random minefields. They're scary. So we didn't really spot anything, so let's just head back. I mean, we're spotting things. There's more BTR 152s up there, but that's that'll be stuff that we deal with tanks. That's what the tanks are for. Curious as to what my opportunity fire settings are. Uh, my opportunity fire settings are long for everything. Because I haven't adjusted anything. Beautiful Shermans. Oh. Oh, that was brave. Yeah, you never know. You just never know. Let's go in there. Clean that up. We'll send this tank down here. Get ready to clean that up. They're doing their thing. Now this makes this so much faster. All right, so now we have our engineers here. Coming up the road to help out. Oh, look how fast they go. Oh my goodness. We have more engineers. And the last engineers. So what I'm thinking is that since I have a company that's bound by uh, basically the road, those uh, engineers in the trucks, the 6x6 six six, six trucks, I'm going to leave them on the road, but the other ones I'm going to bring down this way towards this valley and see how badly mined this is. I don't know how badly mined it's going to be. I would imagine it's very badly mined, but who knows? I'm kind of curious. Oh, look at that. We're almost at the intersection. Let's go ahead with our half tracks while our tanks are trying to catch up. to be on this road but then we're we're pretty much stuck to this road oh and look at that the road is terrible afterwards so i have to be cautious on how i'm driving down this road because it's a mix if you look carefully it's a mix of road and track and road and track and road and track so 
but this road up to there is okay. That's the primary access, that's why. Except for here and here. Okay, let's save it. See what happens. So, John, nothing would have shot at those things if they're just stationary. The op opportunity fire needs to be triggered, right? So, even though I had a tank sitting over here, if these aren't moving or firing, then there's no reason for my tank to fire at them. Unless I do it manually. It's open ground. It's too open. Yeah, I know. That's that's an ambush waiting to happen. That's what it looks like when I look at that valley. It's like, I don't know. And even the road up north on that road, it's like, ah, uh, that's going to be just terrible. One road through the sand, and all my tanks need that road. Because as you see, I've been moving three hexes at a time. That is crappy. There we go. We have... No units that have recovered. Eight headquarters unable to provide supply. One artillery unit unavailable. And we did clear some more blocks and mines. Perfect. Let's go find them. Okay, again, I'm going to use slow time to go through this, this area here. So we're going to cut, cut through the sand to the road. That'll cut off whatever group is there. I'm, I don't know if it's going to be very much. We only saw two BTR-152s. So I'm going to assume maybe it's a reinforced company that's sitting up there. Maybe. We didn't get shot at. So that's encouraging. We didn't run into a minefield. That's also encouraging. Yes, that's the plan. Oh, maybe I can just go straight here. That's what I'll do. Maybe just cut, instead of going through the sand and wasting turns, I'll just swing my light tanks around this way. Yeah, let's do that. So there was a minefield. That's a sign that there's probably going to be more minefields down this way. So that's something to, that I have to make sure that I keep in mind. Uh, here. Let's slow time and try and go around this. Maybe there's nothing there. Okay, maybe there's nothing there. Perfect. Coming down here. Oh, these engineer assets are awesome. Okay, we have more engineer assets right there. Let's get them up. like that. Load up these engineers, bring them up here. A 
Where are the other engineers? Here they are. There, I think. I think we're good here now. So, now that we've reached this location, I'm going to clear out these minefields and we're going to start pushing this way. We're going to split up our tank force, split up our infantry, and uh, develop a couple of task forces to help deal with the issue that we are going to be encountering very soon. Do we have additional reinforcements? We do not. Let's go up here. Let's advance slowly. Oh, look at that. Interesting. Now, I don't want to get too far down this road without additional tank support. We have 120 millimeter mortars up there too, that's handy. So we've hit the road, that's good. We're getting close to this position, that's also good. Let's go down south. Oh, let's risk it. Let's risk it. I don't think we're going to run into anything. Nope, we didn't. Let's have a position up here. We'll have our vanguard checking things out. Let's double time our infantry, get them down the road. tanks down the road as well. Now these tanks aren't heavy enough to carry infantry, unless it's one strength point worth, so that's kind of crappy. Trucks on the road. Get our mortars up. Move our brigade headquarters. All this stuff we can't move right yet, so that's that. 
one thing that I might consider doing is once I empty some of these trucks, I could just get them to ride on tanks. And maybe I'll send some half tracks down this way. Just to give some mobility and have a proper vanguard. Because right now we have great light vehicles. Like jeeps and recordless rifles and tanks. But I don't have any... I don't have any infantry. And that's not good. We need infantry. Yeah, because we're not far now. It's not that far. It doesn't look that far. Okay, let's save it, end it, see what happens. So we didn't run into any ambushes because nothing shot at us. It's just in the movement phase right now. to know what they're doing. I wish I could see. Where are my drones? <laughs> right? Ah, the advantages of having extra accessories. Alright, so one unit has recovered. Maybe that infantry is finally finished. 14 headquarters unable to ride supply. Again, makes sense. We're moving everything. One artillery unit unavailable and we did clear a block. Our mind hexed. Or hex. Let's go deal with that. Oh, look at that. You see? There's a PT-76 there. I would have totally used that for ambushing. Let's, uh... Oh, we took out two of them. Let's do it again. Yeah, it is a big risk, right? That's, that's the kicker. It's risky. Recon Battalion has just completely flanked that position. That's crazy. Okay, that's good. So, what we can do is take this tank company, get it up on the road. So, notice that there's two different tanks here. These are M51s. <coughs> and these were armed with a different gun. What size were they? 105 millimeters? Yeah. They were the 105 millimeter. So they're pretty powerful. The 51s. And then the 50s I think are just just updated Shermans. Yeah, 75 millimeter with an updated gun. Yeah. Look at that. There's minefields everywhere. Okay, let's take that out. Let's go over here. Clean that up. There's engineers here. Let's go into here. So we're going to clean up this mess so we can advance with all of our stuff. So yeah, that's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to... Send these trucks somewhere else. Down south. I'm 
We need some infantry up here. Oh, we have tanks. So we have two tank companies. We have a whack load of engineers. These engineers, let's send this way. We'll start getting ready with a task force, mechanized. Send some engineers up here. We'll unload them. We're going to steal their trucks. Why can't I go in there? Why can't I go in there? Insufficient action points. Ah, it's not very nice. Here's where things are going to get really interesting. Because we are splitting up... Oh, I overstacked that. Crap. always tell when you overstack something because the vehicles decide to go somewhere else besides the road. It's like, oh no! Alright, let's go up here. First tanks up with a commander, with infantry. Oh, we're so close to the road. So close. Seriously? Okay, just like that. That's good. Let's go down south, move our stuff. Let's advance with our... Let's not advance with the platoon leader. Go to the bridge. That gives us eyes, at least. We can see anything here. Advance with our vanguard. Advance with our infantry. Double timing as much as I can. finally recovered. We have our mortars and stuff. That's okay. Oh, there we go. 
we're getting up to the battle. I'm excited. Or a small battle, anyways. And do we have any reinforcements? We do not. Alright. Save and see what happens. We still didn't run in. Hey, good night, Tim. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in, John. I really appreciate it. Wow, I didn't even see that it was two hours already. That's crazy. That is crazy. I'll just do some moving. A little bit more moving since it's not quite two hours yet, but almost. go. Reinforcements have arrived. We have 11 headquarters unable to provide supply. We're clearing a whole bunch of stuff, which is perfect. One unit low on ammo. Let's go check it out. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to unload these engineers. I'm going to get these heavy trucks moving because our plan... Oh, look at all these minefields. To send these tanks that are mine plows down towards the valley and we're going to start cleaning this out we have engineers up there too let's bring the engineers out so these trucks we want to move back these engineers we might as well load up and bring them down this way armored infantry we want this way the tanks Oh, frickin' minefield. And we lost a tank. Shoot. Oh, we lost three tanks. Okay, so, slow time. Okay, well, it's a good thing we brought engineers. Crap, I wasn't expecting that. Let's get these reconnaissance units up there. Let's fire, or do a reconnaissance. Nothing. Let's try one more time. Nothing. Shoot, I can't believe we lost so many tanks just like that. That sucks. Oh, we found something. What did we find? PT-76. So that's probably a reconnaissance force over there. Let's see if we can take that out. That's a good start. Now I've rent just that line of sight. Okay. Uh, infantry, tanks. So let's load this guy here so we know who he's part of. these primes
So see we're advancing with our mechanized infantry. That's what we want to do. Let's start sending a tank company this way. These are our infantry. Yes. Fascinating. Fascinating. It is absolutely fascinating just to see what I can do. So, yeah, I need to clear up these mines. And that'll clear up this really easily. Let's take our reconnaissance unit. slow time on the road it's slow time on the road oh there must be a block there I can't move again we're slow timing on the road I'm going to advance around this ridge This will help determine what we do with our, our engineering assets after we take this position, where they're going to go. So far we have, we're going to send one, one tank this way, I think, is our plan. Yeah, we're going to send one tank that way. We're going to send this infantry, no, the engineers that are truck bound that way as well. two task forces to do that. But you know what? I think we're going to do that next time because we're well over two hours. Hey, thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Hope you're finding this interesting. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you're watching this on YouTube, I do answer all the questions. Uh, if you have more detailed questions, you can ask them over on our Patreon. Sorry, our Discord. The Discord link is down below. If you really want to support us, consider signing up for Patreon. The price of a coffee really goes a long way, for sure. Especially research material, time, etc. That It makes a big difference. Anyways, thank you for everything. I really appreciate it. Thanks to all the new subscribers. Thank you so much. It is greatly appreciated. Uh, I will be streaming on Sunday. It is Christmas Eve morning, so since it's the morning, it shouldn't be too bad. I'm not expecting a lot of people to show up, but hey. I'll be around. I'll be doing that Vietnam scenario that we had had such a terrible time with last time. And yeah, positive vibes. Again, thank you for your time. Hope you have a fantastic week, rest of your week, and we shall see you on Sunday. On that note, take care. 
Smile always, and talk to you soon.